everything in your life is direct result of the choices you have made. If you want different results, you have to make a different choice. Hey there, I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. A few weeks ago, I received this anonymous quote on WhatsApp as a forward, and it goes, Everything you do is based on the choices you make. It's not your parents, not your past relationships, your job, the economy, the weather, an argument or your age that is to blame. You and only you are responsible for every decision and choice you make, period. As I dwelled on this, I realized this is 100% true. There are powerful thoughts that are conveyed in these three sentences. There's choice, there's responsibility, decision, blame, suffering, but the core of all this is the choices that we make. It is the choice that results into everything else. Did you know that an average adult makes about 35,000 decisions a day and a young kid makes about 3,000 per day? Wow! This is from multiple sources on internet, but even if half of this is true, say a fraction of this is true, we're still making substantial decisions every single day and most of them are based on the choices that we are making. As we draw closer to this year end, I want you to think about the decisions that you have made this year, the serious one at least, and how many of them are really the result of your conscious choice. Think about it. And how about the decisions you've taken this week? Did you make a conscious choice to skip that gym? Or was it a subconscious decision because you were in the comfort of, comfort of your bed and you didn't want to get up, it's cold outside and anyways, New Year is around the corner so you can actually start from 1st of January. When you make a conscious choice, you're evaluating the consequences, the pros and cons of that decision. You will be able to understand and leverage on the decision-making process rather than get into a decision fatigue. Let me share an example. Years ago, my husband and I took a collective decision to create space for mandatory vacation in our schedule. As a result, for the past 11 years, we've been able to take chunks of our time, which is typically three to four weeks, and travel to exciting destinations, which is all part of our uh, travel list. Friends comment and joke about how consistent we are. And at the same time, we get asked, how are we able to do that? How are we able to travel every year to exciting locations that are part of their to-do list? There is no secret formula here. This happened because we have prioritized travel and made lifestyle changes accordingly so that we can budget for the expenses that we will incur on these travels. And as a direct result of that lifestyle choice, I carry an old version of mobile. I have an iPhone 6S Plus, which is like ancient according to the tech geeks. We keep our home uh, with simple stuff, basics, but nothing too flashy. We shop selectively and we rarely eat at fine dining spots or even consume alcohol. We made a choice of simple living for the sake of creating travel and adventure in our life. Personally too, I realized I value experiences and memories much more than material things and I try to lead my life as much as possible that way. So here's a simple algorithm you can use when you want to make a conscious choice. Number one. Connect your choice to your intentions and goals. This way you'll be able to prepare and prioritize your things to do. Number two, evaluate how your choice will impact you and those around you. This will help you avoid your mistakes and course correct if needed. And once you make that choice, take responsibility of that decision irrespective to the consequences. And number four, be willing to let it go if it turns out to be a bad choice. When you use the words such as, I don't have a choice, so I took a bad decision, you're basically negating the responsibility. Instead, if you can say, I have reflected on the available choices and then took a decision, you are taking the ownership and the responsibility of that choice and are in control of the next choice you'll be making. In order to help you further in making a right choice, I am sharing with you two things today. The first one is a TED playlist, one of my favorite on the choices that we make. Believe me, I have learned so much from these videos and I'm sure that you're gonna benefit from it. So take some time out and check these out. And the second one is the my top inspirational quotes on choices. 
Of course, both the links are given in the description below. I hope you find them helpful. Our days are filled with constant stream of decisions. Some are mundane, so you can ignore them. But there are some of those important decisions that we take. If they are not conscious about it, they may come back and haunt us for the rest of our lives. And who would want to live a life of regret? So I encourage you to reflect and be aware of the kind of choices you're making so that you can lead an intentional life. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me.